Well, so it's early-ish, but not too early, half past eight, I'm in the lab and I am going to set up the atomic force microscope and show you what it is I do and hopefully no one will interrupt me and embarrass me. Yay! <laughs> just got back from the cinema, we went to see Guardians of the Galaxy 2, which is pretty good, and I've uh, had a semi-productive day. As you saw earlier, I went into the office where I'm doing a bit of work experience slash an internship. Um, didn't do much filming in there because kind of got sidetracked and also was too embarrassed. So maybe this week I'll do some filming in there. This week, I'm going to try and film as much of my work experience as possible just to give you a bit of an insight into what you actually do on an internship at the University of Nottingham. Um, and the reason why I am doing an internship is because when I started the foundation year I made a conscious effort to get involved in as much sort of outreach and work experience as possible because, well, the biggest reason being I don't really know what it's like to be a physicist. I, I know I enjoy studying, but I want to find out more about what being a physicist actually is. Now, uh, I went to see Athene Donald speak last at the end of last year, and I didn't really know how to get involved in any internships or work experience because most of them are sort of advertised for second or third year students. Um, and the, the thing I took away from Athene Donald's talk was that she basically just said sometimes you just have to ask for things. I emailed Professor Philip Moriarty at the University of Nottingham who is someone I've been emailing for a few years now basically um, I'm a pain in the ass and he responds so I thought I would email him and he responded and said we there's something we're interested in um, and so here I am and I've been sort of doing a little project for three weeks. It's really interesting and I've got to meet a couple of PhD students who are using other microscopes, like scanning tunneling microscopes and things like that. And it's all really interesting and I bombard them with questions but it's really enjoyable and I get to spend time in the PhD office which means when I'm not using the microscope then I can do a bit of studying or read around the subject and it's just been really nice to be in that environment. and. It's been fun, so I got to hang out with physicists all day. What more could you want? Um, so that's it in a nutshell. I'll see what I can show you for the rest of the week. Um, and right now I'm going to do a bit more revision because in 23 days my exams start. So it's nearly 10 o'clock on Tuesday morning. Josh dragged me out this morning to do a little workout so now everything is dying <laughs> um, and I'm going in a little bit later today I don't have use of the AFM until about 3pm today so I'm going to go in now and do a bit of revision um, at 1 o'clock I'm playing football with uh, a friend of mine so that'll be good um, and then that's kind of it for today really uh, meeting a friend after work and the sun is shining so I will film as much as possible, but I can't promise it's going to be a very interesting day. Okay, bye! got it scanning and then I just kind of zoom in on areas that look interesting and that's about it yay now I'm gonna put the camera away before someone walks past So 
I'm back home and I had a really good day today which is nice because yesterday I was stuck feeling a bit lost and a little bit lonely. I went in early so that I could film a little bit of me setting up the AFM which was nice. Between doing some scans of the samples I went in and made a nuisance of myself with Philippe, uh, one of the PhD students and sat with him while he was working through some stuff which was really interesting and very nice of him to allow me to hang around um, and then oh yeah I got some help from Alex who's a postdoc just to sort of figure out which sort of areas I should be looking at on the sample which areas might be interesting because you know when I look at it I still don't really know what the blobs are or how how much I can zoom in and so that was constructive and very helpful and I kind of just um, did that for a couple of hours which was good. Uh, I tried to scan a different area of the sample but it wasn't playing ball so I'll have a look at that again tomorrow afternoon and then um, another of the PhD students, Alex, who I'm going to interview tomorrow he has a music blog and he reviewed one of the albums <laughs> I suggested so we had a little chat about that so yeah so tomorrow I'm going to interview Alex the one of the PhD students and I'm going to interview Philippe and kind of just ask them some questions about the PhD and about studying physics and the sort of questions that I have and had in the past um, so hopefully that'll be interesting okay Bye!